Howdy ho! Good morning. I'm an idol sire for reasons. But first things first, I'm gonna get this monk quest out of my van. So, uh, Wittergelt decides that he wants to show a cross discipline match with the pugilist, so we're going to uh, talk to the pugilist guild. Uh. Probably turn this down because there's not much for. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Uh, turn me up. Here we go. I think I usually have this down more just because it seems like. But after listening to a couple of my videos, I'm like, eh, I'm a little hard to hear. Oh, is it a familiar face and one I'm rather fond of? Jujuto Rurukuta. Uh, we have an esteemed guest. Let's go, gods. How long has it been? Well, well, it seems I picked a good time to take a break from my wanderings. It's good to see you again. That it is. Now then, what brings you here, lad? Cross-discipline match? Why, that sounds exciting. Don't you agree, Master? Oh, Garabania, so far. Well, the... Other side of the world, huh? Mostly sinewy highlanders and male ones at that. Oh, that's rich coming from a sinewy highlander and a wrinkled old one at that. Hank, for one, will welcome the challenge. I'm growing weary of pummeling Chuchuto's senseless. Says the one on a losing streak. But of course we'll go. After all you've done for us, it's the least we could do. The sooner the better, I take it, and there's no time like the present. We'll head out at once. What? Hurry up and pack your things. We're going to Garabanya. You go on ahead, lad, and let Wittergeld know to expect us. On, on like an Alamega monk. Alamegan monk. They like to say it's on like Donkey Kong. Usually start on the way, Ralgar be praised. There's much to do, I'll make the match known to the villagers. The Zeta or Chaka be on hand to receive our guests. And you, Esigo, schism. That is, will be the venue. Pray, take yourself there and prepare. Yeah, I really need to remember to offline work on the uh, uh, ether currents. Hey. Isms is in the fringes.
Oh. It's the wrong Aether current card or Aether thing. There we are. You're here, good. The people of Alagana expected a quality match. Let us not disappoint them. Soon the girls will arrive with the pugilists. I also told the professor, but he will not attend. Science means savagery. Before savagery, he says. Ah! Seven Hells, what are you? Zeta, Ochaka, they're in trouble. Voices come from the river. With me, yes, it goes. My techniques, they have no effect. <laughs> well, well, we thought we knew every elm of your style, but you, Ventura, you are not like the others. <laughs> you are the Griffin. The wretch who led countless soldiers to their doom. Good men and women with lives ahead of them. But you are supposed to be dead. The wretch who died was but a devil, and good riddance too, for he presumed to have ambitions of his own. I am the true griffin, and my true name is Theobald, the Odric's heir and rifle king of Alamigo. The Odric's heir? King of Alamigo? Aye, and in my royal DD, I've come to deliver a warning. Such cults as, pro as propagate false beliefs will not be suffered under my reign. Cease any foolish notion of reviving the fish of Ralgar. Swear fealty to me, and we will meet the same end, or you will meet the same, same end as your treacherous forebears. Lies. The Odric line's line is spent, and rightful or no, none should would bow before you. The people will not suffer another tyrant. You wound me with a guilt. Or should I say Theodred, dear cousin? What? Ha <laughs> ha All this time and you didn't know neither you neither who you are or what became of your parents. This ignorance cannot be borne. Nay, you must rectify it at once. You see, your father and mother, they conspired to betray the royal house. For their crimes, your disgrace, my father put them to death. And though your parents are the dimmest of traitors, they had wits enough to know that the game was over, so they s sent their precious Theodred 
then but a bawling babe to be raised in safety but at the temple of the fist, though my father tended to that squalid little place soon enough. You, you dare mock my parents and my home? Who you claim to me, I care not. I will make you pay. Have you learned nothing? Your techniques are useless against us. If your defeat suffices not to convince you, look to the proof of your beloved temple's destruction. I said, well, uh, El Amigo needs a strong ruler, an absolute ruler, to smite her enemies or restore her to glory. That ruler is me. Your feeble fist has no place in her future. This is not a good time for the match. With apologies to Master Heyman, I must call it off. Zenta Ochaka, pray return to Alagana and rest. I shall remain behind to receive our guests. Wait for me, yes, with the me rest goes. Oh, sorry for the delay, my friends. Having been here here once before, I thought I'd I had a handle on the root, but twas the root that had a handle on me. <laughs> Hmm. Something the matter. Hmm. Harsh truth had been, been thrust upon me, calling my very existence into question. As I am, I'm a no-fit opponent for you and yours. Forgive me, Master Heyman. Far as you had to come, it pains me to say this, but I must call off our match. Oh. Well... That you don't do so lightly is plain to see. Whatever has happened must be serious indeed. For now, my boy, you best focus on yourself. There will be another time for to trade blows. Come, you two, we're going home. Already? We've barely gotten here. But the scenic are up with slides. Let me rest a moment, will you? Oh, don't be such a millsop. With all your roaming, surely this distance is nothing to you. And what else? To be make it clear, we're merely postponing the match. Whatever it is that ails you now, I have faith you will bounce back, ready to match me blow for blow. Master Heyman is a, is a soul of kindness. I have nothing but gratitude. Let us return to Alagana. I must look in on Dezenta and Ochaka. Meanwhile, please find Professor Eric. Uh, tell them all that has come to pass. What? Let me preface. You're telling me that Wittergelt, our Wittergelt, the Lumrin Slab, is in fact Theodred, nephew of Theodric, the King of Ruin? And that this man, who claims to be the Griffin, presumed dead, also claims to be Theobald, Theodric's rightful heir, also presumed dead. By the gods, not even a drink out of bard could make this up. Outlandish details aside... I have an inkling as to the identity of those who set, set upon you. They're the self-same crew that raised the, raised the Temple of the Fists, the Corpse Brigade. Trained in counter monk combat, they served the King of Ruin in their personal guard, though personal agents of destruction would be more accurate. But with their lineage, their leash fell as so they, they followed in, in their turn, uh, becoming overqualified bandits. Even so, it appears that they had not entirely forsaken their training. That would explain why, for all their mastery of the fist, Wildegelt and the girls, girls had no answer to them. That you could hold your own, I believe, is due to your pugilist background. 
At any rate, now is the time to arm your, ourselves with knowledge. First of all, I shall look into Theo, Theobald's myriad claims. As for you, I suggest you check on your friend. Knowing the oaf, he will be confused and crestfallen to no end. Uh, it is you. I have known defeat, tasted my fair share, but not like this. I was helpless the, as a babe. The strength to protect, I proclaimed, but I could not even protect my own. All my years of training, all useless. I have to offer my people. And to think the Mad King is my uncle? I am nephew to the man who murdered my parents, who destroyed our temple, who brought our nation to ruin? Forgive me, brother. I would be alone. All right, time to seek out, my, speak to Minago. Where's Minago? Minago is at the fringes gate in Rogers Reap. But inside the gate, so I have to, so I can't just teleport. I probably could, but I don't think it would be. Be that useful. Oh, hold on. Don't worry about this. I'm just unlocking my uh, uh, the uh, Stormblood sightseeing log. Got everything you need? Good. Let, let us be off. Quiet. Hear that? That was a Cerulean menger backfiring. Imperials. Ye gods. You have preternatural senses. I didn't hear a thing. When you grow up hunting these lands, you learn to discern the sounds that can mean life and death. Be they a predator or patrol. From what I'm hearing, we have seven man patrol augmented by a single magitech armor. Wide search pattern. Divided into two, no, three teams. I don't think they know we're here. It's risky, but we could split up and try to take them all by surprise at the same time. We don't want them calling reinforcements. Three teams, three of us, nothing for it then. Where are they? Head north. You should see them long before you, before they see you. I'll deal with the ones to the south. The armor should be just to the west. Essigo's best equipped to deal with that. We attack in five. That should be enough time to get in position. Rendezvous on the west bank after. Any questions? No? And good luck. Really?
Bin ich erstmal nicht drauf. Looks like everything went to to plan. Not that I'm surprised. The three soldiers I faced didn't put up much of a fight. Most of the Imperials we get out here are conscripts from other provinces with little training and even less conviction. It's grim work killing men and women like that, but I don't doubt that they do the same to you if the roles were reversed. And don't you dare pity a man in armor. Conscript or no, conscript or no, a soldier piloting one of those can kill a dozen good men in the blink of an eye. Now that I need to tell you that, but after what happened at the wall. Right. I believe we were rested long enough. We can resume our journey before someone notices this missing patrol. Hey, Richardo. It's going all right. It's Independence Day here, uh, but it's also Blake Stormy rainy, I think. Oh, no, sun's out. It was storming later, earlier. Although it says showers right now on my watch. Even better news is uh, I, have a, I get a four-day weekend, four-and-a-half-day, actually, because I uh, have a... I'll be doing night shift at work. We're clear. Only Alliance patrols ahead. You said the forces at Castle Morians are under the command of Flame General Raubon Aldean? Did you not? By Rogger, the bull of El Amigo himself. I never dreamed I'd have a chance to meet the legend. Yeah, you know what I do on the 4th of July? I play video games. Basically what I do every single other day. Oh, this is voice acted. I should probably turn up the volume. At your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. These are not the blood sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. Uh, as you say, General. <clears throat> on behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Good. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Aye. Some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. Oh. 
After all of the Griffins' false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. We will not lie to them. This is war, and lives will be lost. Yet what we offer is not the fever dream of a madman, but true hope. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Garleans in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. If we can achieve even a token victory, I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people and inspire them to rise up once more. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Galleons, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. The question is, when and where do we strike? So I just want to make a, a quick comment here. Uh, one, my uh, Essigos' boyfriend, Pippin, uh, is a smart lad. Also, the difference between me and Essigos is I do not like Pippin's hair. I'm not a fan of the longer hair at all. Um, it, it is actually a turn off for me personally. Obviously, I'm one of those people It's like, you know, you be you, boo. Sadly, not attracted. I apologize. This is just not to my tastes. You're a good person. I like you. Just not attracted. Slight difference. Just saying. That's all I'm saying. But. I suppose thinks he's hot. And plus, like, his badasses is just, you know, that turns him on. Because Essigos is a badass. I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. Oh, and of course, that was the, the, the end of that part. Turn back down because it's no longer voice acting. A scouts recently informed me of an interesting development at Castellum uh, Veladina, namely the arrival of a shipment rumored to have come from the research and development facilities near the capital containing prototype magic tech armor. It is our assessment that the armor is to be field tested here, most likely against alliance forces, mayhap before the day is out. Damn it, more magic tech weapons? That's the last thing we need. Our concern is. Your concern is not unwarranted, but we needn't despair just yet. The shipment is thought to have contained a single heavy unit and one or two support units. With a well-laid ambush, we can we are confident that we can destroy them all, hindering their deployment and, de and delayed future deployment. And should we carry this out as a joint endeavor with the Resistance, they will have their rallying cry. It would mean dropping on pretense about the Alliance not wanting to go to war with the Empire, but you'd have a lot more folk willing to stand up and fight if they knew they went alone. And you were going to and you were going to have to do it eventually anyway. Exactly. And so that is what, what I propose is simple. We hurry their patrols to bait them into bringing their prototype weapon to East End, where our resistance allies will take them from behind. Simple indeed, and well within our capabilities. I see no reason to delay, especially if a field test is imminent. What say you? Assuming the Vice Marshal's intelligence is accurate, I agree with his assessment and fully support his plan. I shall notify my comrades at once. Understood. I shall have one of my men bring you the details of the plan anon. And we, for our part, will be fighting with the Alliance, yes? I somehow doubt that we are intended to sit this one out.
quick check on a few things. Getting upgrades, so I get fifty five. Okay, cool. Hey, Abby. Low kiss. Robin knows exactly what he would, would like you to do. Um, we've been careful to avoid needless shows of force this side of the wall, but that's all about to change. And when it does, we may be sure that they'll send their new toys out to entertain us. I would ask you to participate in this operation, but from the look I see is a foregone conclusion. I thanks. Per Pippin's plans, we need to turn East End into an imperial graveyard. You're a dab hand at this, and I'd be a fool not to use you. Head to this spot on your map, right here, I A patrol should be along shortly. Deal with them, then rendezvous with the rest of us at this location. Go well, Eskos. I gotta, I gotta remember that it's not until 70 that I get Brotherhood and although I do have deep meditation. Need to refill my beverage soon. In a moment. We get this part of the quest done first. No, uh, I think this is taking the long way around. Back the way I came. All right, before I go into this duty, I'm going to refresh my beverage. So I'll be right back. Didn't take long.
All right. Here we go. Oh, well then planned then. Good. Scouts report that a unit escorting the prototype weapon has left Castellim Veladina. The resistance is already in position, so we have but to wait for our guests to arrive. And sink down to 62. Us. Yet here we are, right as rain, with Fatsy. Oops. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. Well, well, if it isn't Garland's little troublemaker. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Xenos' face when I bring him your head. He's a little thick skulled for a Rogadin. <laughs> He's a hell. My secret weapons here don't grind it into mush. Attack! All right, need to read the things to make sure I get it, get instructions right. Flames, deal with the escort, leave the armor to us again. I think I did that wrong. You'll be weeping blood. I need to deal with this, maid.
He who, who fights and runs. What the? Who the hell are you lot? For Alamigo, let not escape. My weapon. Oh, damn it all! Miracles of magic tech design my ass. I passed harder stools than these piles of scrap. You'll pay for this. Mark my words, the next time we meet will be the last. All those misguided Rogadins being part of the Imperials. Hi, run and tell you, Viceroy. The day belongs to El Amigo. All right. Well done, all of you. We'll call this operation resounding success. Can't say I'm surprised. The Bull of Alamigo has an impressive military record before he went, went west, as I recall. Credit where it's due, Master Kemp. It was Marshal Tarpin who made this plan, and all, and all of you, resistance and alliance alike, who carried it out to perfection. Aye, that they did. Not a single casualty, for which I am grateful beyond the words. I have no doubt our comrades back at the Reach will feel the same. As will ours. It's been a pleasure, General. Until the next battle, Minago, Minago I leave the science in your care. We shall return to the cast room then. As it goes, Mistress Levier, once more you have my thanks, as Master Kemp said, until the next battle. I heard the stories, but to actually see you in action, I almost found myself pitying the Imperials. Seriously, though, I was, it was inspirational. Ah, uh, but you must be tired of hearing that. Eh? I'm, I'll keep it simple then. Thanks for the help out there. Well, there's no reason to remain here any longer. Let's get back to the Reach.
You didn't have to take part in the operation, but you did. You went above and beyond what was asked of you without hesitation, and for that we owe you our debt. Our victory may not count for much in practical terms, but the symbolic value can't be overstated. Alliance and Resistance fighters came together to face an Imperial unit equipped with Garlemald's newest weapon and smashed them. The people will remember this day. Aye, that they will, for it marks the beginning of something far greater than any single victory. The beginning of a campaign but by a united Eorzea is to drive the Guardians from our lands. Promises and platitudes meant not without action, but the Alliance took the field and risked their lives for our cause. Ah, to think that the last time Gridanian troops trod the soul was more than a century ago, during the Autumn War, that was to defend, defend against our invasion. Ours is a long and bloodied history, to be sure, but it gives us heart to see that despite our acrimo acrimonious past, we can still come together for the sake of the future. Well said, Commander, which is why I intend to go from village to village and spread word of our victory and our new alliance. The people will flock to our banners. Just you wait and see. Eskos, Alize, I cannot thank you enough for your assistance. By the way, Kemp and I have the same hairstyle. If you look at it. And then if you look at Kemp's hairstyle, exact same thing. Except his is white. Mine is blue. Speaking of which, let's talk to Conrad. Which is to thank you for all you've done in this short time. Well, into the efforts of you all, we have accomplished a great deal in a short time. The resistance thanks you for your service, Scions. See, operations here have proceeded to pace in my absence. Welcome back, brother dearest. I take it, take it your efforts to recruit, gather new recruits were successful. Indeed, there are several amongst the science ranks that are quite eager to take part in our joint operation with the Resistance, whom I have come to present. Commander Kemp, as on my, my name, my name is Arunval Lentinus, a half-breed, as you can doubtlessly tell. I'm here to fight for free, for free Alamigo, for an Alamigo where women like, like my mother are never made to suffer. I pray you grant me this honor. You are a true born son of, of Garabanias. Same as me. It is not my, my honor to grant, but yours is fr to freely take. Welcome, brother. With our swelling ranks and the aid of the Aeosian Alliance and the Science of the Seventh Dawn, I believe we have, will soon be in a position to seize the initiative. Once our new recruits have received sufficient training, I would Propose to General Aldine that we draw up plans for an assault on Castellum Villadina. Then, in the meantime, we can make what preparations we can. I think this is voice connected. I mute myself.
Let me just say the Gar Garlemald theme the, or anthem is nothing like the Imperial March. Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orients and taken up positions along the length of the wall. Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges, save one. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitek weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed with the unit sustaining near total casualties. Near total? Go on. My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Aorzean Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. Hmm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the Twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the Twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. My lord, I... Cowards! Who defer critical missions to their subordinates, who hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. Why? When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? Because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. It is a delicate dance, one which asks much of my hounds. And so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsmen. How shall we deal with these savages? My lord, I have a proposal. Silence, Alamegan! You do forget yourself! Only by the grace of Lord Van Bailsar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. This savage yearns to hunt her own. The floor is yours, Commander. 
Thank you, my lord. Ah! What? Why does mute in one place not work in the other? Matter of fact, ah, oh, Jesus. Never mind. I'm gonna, just ignore me. Like, I unmute myself in one place, but it doesn't unmute me in the other place. And I'm like, but it's both for the same exact thing. Anyways, by the point. Move on. Where are we? Hurry. Beeves. Hello, Beeves. Uh, I beg your pardon. A man who bested Gaius van Balsar wishes to offer me his assistance. I say this is highly irregular, though I've heard that it said, said you are a pensioned for aiding the common man, in which case. After the occupation, I'm a humble historian. While my duties leave me scarce time for aught else, I think it important that these momentous events be recorded for the benefit of future generations. Primary sources are indispensable. I had a mind to question a number of my federal freedom fighters, ask them about their motivations for taking up their skulls and so forth. You may take down those statements in this log, and Essegos, thank you for your service. Now and ever after. So back here is the entrance to the dungeon for the Temple of the Fist. I need to remember the first time we I do that. I should do it on a monk because it's just appropriate because it's a monk thing. On I join the resistance. Well, if you must know, it's to avenge a friend of Imperial friend the Imperials butchered before my very eyes. Back to Al Amigo. We owned a stall in the markets, and a passing soldier snatched up a piece of fruit. He spoke out before I could stop him, only to, f to get a fulm of steel in the gut for his troubles. I found my way here, and that was that. I'll get to remember, I don't need earrings. So I've got this nice uh, heirloom earring. I don't call it heirloom in this game, but hey. It's the same thing. It levels with you and provides an XP boost. So earrings are currently useless. Except for... Except for the uh, hand and land uh, classes. 
I was just a cook before all this. Simple fare, really. Had a chance to lend a hand and help feed some refugees one day. I took a liking to the fighters. They believed, you know. There's always a need for cooks. At least people who can work with whatever the for foraging parties turn up. She also has a quest. You want to help, do you? Hmm. Seeing as how I'm in no position to leave the stew pot unintended, could you go and ask uh, Tib for a variety of herbs? Six sprigs or so of whatever he's got on hand should suffice. It's, it's not as haphazard as it may seem. Depending on the recipe, it doesn't really matter what sort you add as long as you add something. I'll be here when you get back. I mean, I thought about it. I just haven't really done it. I do that. Because I haven't played WoW in a while. I almost want, like, a picture of, like, my two main characters, like, looking at each other. But I'm not good enough for Photoshop to, to get something like that. Here we are. I just updated it. Because despite the fact that I'm currently obsessed with Final Fantasy XIV and I haven't played WoW in like months, um, I'm still a fan of WoW. It's just... I kind of got bored. <laughs> Actually, it's more of... Here's what happened. Here's here's how my transition from playing WoW pretty much all the time to just obsessively playing Final Fantasy XIV is there was a patch day. So the servers of WoW were down for maintenance. Some of my friends were going back to this game and like I'm kind of bored. There's a free trial of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm going to try it out. And I will say, I complained a lot, a lot about Final Fantasy XIV. There were things that were annoying. It was bugging me. I kind of wish I had uh, like created my initial character as a pugilist uh, to begin with, but I did it as a gladiator. It's which is fine because I was, I'm leveling up all my classes on there. In fact, all of them are at least level 60. <laughs> um, and then I started, like, as I was going, I started getting raptured by the story. And and I was started getting used to the game and figuring out the controls. And, and I got used to it. Um, and I was really enjoying the story. And and how the story was presented, this really can feel like, even though this is an MMO, and he, even Jesse Cox ha has mentioned, this is not an MMO RPG. This is an RPG MMO. The, there's a big significance on it. It's where the RPG comes before the MMO. So it's a different type of game. And I, I just thoroughly ended up enjoying it. And 
Well, I kind of got into it, and now I'm currently obsessively playing it. <laughs> and decided, hey, I'll do it on stream. And hey, why don't I, I like do a brand spanking new character and play through the whole MSQ on the character. Every everything else is eh, if needed, <laughs> with a few additional things like offline, still playing the character offline for uh, extra added benefits here and there. So, but it doesn't mean that I don't like WoW. I like WoW. I, I do like the story of WoW. It's not as involved or enticing. Um, I enjoy playing a panda. I enjoy playing a, 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 a tauren. Um, uh, you know, I, I like playing those different types of races, and I like that variety that the races have. Versus the variety in here, which has, well, everybody's human except for different minor characteristics. The only monster race, quote unquote, that you probably could could say would be Hrothgar. And even then, it's pretty much they've got a lion head <laughs> or a tiger head or, you know, some sort of... Um, feline face and you know the makote are just humans with cat ears and a tail and and pointed incisors or whatever those are bangs you know and, and some weird cat like things but and viera are just Humans with bunny ears and feet. Literally, that's it. If you like, watch the uh, when they revealed in at the last digital fan fest, the male Viera. One of the things you you'll notice is that the legs were are more bunny esque, but in in essence, they're still human. Rows are still human. They're just big and beefy. That's pretty much it. Colors and some mild different characteristics. But they're human. Yours are literally human. <laughs> they're just... <laughs> you got the Aura. They're human with horns and scaly parts. But they're human. <laughs> They're all freaking human. Uh, but in, in WoW, you've got... You you literally have three, three human versions with humans. Uh, the Kul Tiran are human. It's just that they basically have... Basically, they're fat people. <laughs> Essentially it. <laughs> you get bears for, for the males <laughs> and, thick, and big thick women for, for the females. Um, and, and then the worgen are literally just regular humans, but they could turn into werewolves. <laughs> the only difference. You got the forsaken. I'm going to call them forsaken. I'm not going to call them undead. Uh, they are undead, but they're a specific thing. Which are just uh, skin and bones. No paladins were the worgens, but I believe there's paladins for the Tyrion and the regular humans. Mm -hmm. It is kind of the there is kind of a downside to it, unlike in in Final Fantasy fourteen, where it honestly your race doesn't matter. You be whatever race you want. It doesn't matter. I kind of wish that, that WoW would do it. Basically, anything that deals with racial traits, or all the racial traits, they should just get rid of. Just completely remove them and allow any race to be any class. If they want to to stick to, to the one class per character, 
sure, that's fine. But if they, I really think the racial restrictions they should remove and uh, class restrictions. Well, racial restrictions for classes, I should say. Uh, and their racial traits. That's probably going to help with balancing and then just let people be able to be the character they want. Like, you know, they, there have been moments where they've had like some teases about weird things like um, orc paladins. Um, Etrig had an, an entire adventure, which was also like offline, I think, uh, where he did a lot of stuff with paladins and he could totally be a, a paladins. I mean, we do have, we do have trolls being, I trolls being paladins. you think of it like the, um, Razan was the king of paladins and that's kind of like the, or king of, of the Loa. He was the major, major one And my screen's going idle because I'm, I'm talking so much. Um, his was more of the regal sort of thing and, and like, I mean tr trolls, no that's fine trolls being paladins make sense to me because trolls can be warriors and trolls can be priests what are paladins in WoW lore they're warrior priests Literally, when the first paladins came around in on Azeroth, not anywhere else in the the WoW universe, but on Azeroth itself, it was humans. It was a group where they they took some pe some priests and taught them some martial aspects, and they taught some warrior some priestly aspects, and that's basically what paladin is. A paladin is basically a warrior priest. So. If the race could be be a priest, there is no reason, none whatsoever, that they shouldn't be able to be a pal paladin. Because every race can be a warrior. And then it's just kind of getting in the things like uh, uh, night elves. Night elves! Very lot of priestly people. They could be warriors. There's no reason why they couldn't be paladins. In fact, in Legion, there's an entire, entire part of the paladin campaign where a night elf becomes a, pal a priest, becomes a paladin. And she's even one of your minions for your, your um, mission table missions. So... There's no reason why it could be, and there's no reason why why it should be just because, maybe culturally speaking, an entire culture might not uh, not have this type of thing. There's no reason that you, your the our hero, you as the the champion, couldn't learn to be a priest. Maybe maybe the orcs. The, an orc goes to the the Tauren, who currently have paladins, and they train as a paladin. There, really, there's no reason why why they can't couldn't do that now because you've got allies that can train you in these aspects. So that would be be kind of nice um, if they. We're going to go to something more Final Fantasy where it's basically your character could be every class. I think that would be cool. However, that would literally be WoW 2.0. It would be an entirely new game. Or WoW 2, I should say, not 2.0. 2.0 was the Burning Crusade. But WoW 2, the sequel to WoW, the, the MMO WoW. I would have to do an entirely new version of the game in order to do that. Um, which they could. They could literally just like get to a point in WoW's story 
where things settle down. The, the immediate threats have been all taken care of. Your heroes have been on this journey for so long, and it's time for them to retire. And then a new MMO, they uh, create a new MMO, World of Warcraft 2, or or uh, maybe they just call it Warcraft 4, and it's an MMO. Going, going the Final Fantasy route. In fact, it, or or maybe maybe it should be just called Warcraft Five and be like World of Warcraft was essentially Warcraft Four or something like that, and go this route like the Final Final Fantasy franchise, where each game is slightly different and and some of them take from the original method of of things for the RPG, but then they go into these other things. So, but. Will Blizzard do that? Probably not. Especially because of their current situation. And they could even do something like a thousand years after the events of World of Warcraft. A new generation of uh, people rise and new generation of heroes are needed for a big old quest. And maybe they go the Final Fantasy XIV route, where they start turning it into more of a RPG MMO. All these races are technologies a little bit more powerful. Magic, you know, uh, is around. Things have been calm for a century, or uh, uh, for th- several thousands of years, or several hundred years, and now a new threat arises. But they need. A hero and Azeroth has chosen her champion, and it is you. Kind of likely along the lines of Heidelin, except for the fact that you got the world soul. Of Azeroth. Or even worse, or the one thing they could even do is start off with. After this thousand years after the original events of World of Warcraft, Azeroth, Azeroth hatches. Oh boy, what does that mean? What happens when Azeroth herself finally emerges from her her egg, for lack of a better better word, of of the world Azeroth? Anyways, let's get back into our game. <laughs> let's focus on, on here. Herbs it is. Six springs of whatever is on hand. Afraid I can't spare that much. Uh, you'll take two and, and be glad of it. Uh, maybe not exactly like Argus. The main you all have to gather, gather yourself. Shouldn't be too much of a bother, though. Be surprised what you can find growing underfoot, near, even near, in the reach. You know, it would have been cool uh, for WoW Classic. Because um, I believe they're doing, like, recently they did, they uh, reached out to, they're sending a uh, survey out about, like, hey, what if we restarted some realms? But we did, made some changes, like, we threw in a barber shop, or the difficulty of the bosses were increased. Um, the the summoning stones, which were weren't, weren't added until uh, uh, 
later in the game uh, to the dungeons were added to the game. Uh, Bellular has a uh, entire section about uh, has an entire video where they comment about it. Um, it really ended up based off the way that that they were kind of describing it. It almost f- seemed like they were trying to convert Wild Classic to ha- have basically you to be able to do a seasonal journey like you, like you would have in, um, or ha- it'd be like a season in in. Um, in Diablo 3 where you would go into a season and certain things would be different whether it's a quality of life sort of thing or it would be a affix or something like that that would uh, make the game a little more interesting and and replayable Um, which I think would be cool is like one, if they do kind of like this rolling restart sort of thing, like every six months, eight or twelve months, they they basically reset the realms. Um, one, I would like it just to be a realm reset where your character, you essentially have everything, but your character goes back to level one. You have your character. Your character is still there. Your character is still preserved, and then you have to level up, just like uh, when you. Um, do the seasonal restart in Diablo three. And then based off of certain changes that have been made to the world world, you get achievements for going up and maybe you get some sort of, um, a reward for, for doing another one to 60 leveling. Um, uh, and then defeating these bosses or such. Um, Maybe even throwing in world quests uh, so that people have end games. Basically, really make World of Warcraft the World of Warcraft Diablo edition. <laughs> it's the MMO. <laughs> it's, it's the MMO action RPG, <laughs> which, is, which is what Diablo three was. Do I to join the, the resistance? Why? Why indeed? To save lives, perhaps, or to make amends for the ones I couldn't. My father and my brothers worked to death while building a, building a castrum. What did it matter to the guardians? Eh? More where that lot came from. After that, I couldn't keep on doing nothing. Actually, we had an Ananta the quest. You look like a strider in search of comrades in need. If so, I have a task for you. I'm a trainer and, and was told to expect new recruits this day. Uh, yet nary one has come. Perhaps they were given the wrong time and location. I do not know. They number five in all. They would These would be warriors. Send them on to me uh, should you chance to find them. I know, I know, I'm late, but I had to say a prayer to my sister first. After that, the Imperials did to her death with mercy. Hmm. Aren't you the Icon Slayer? Damned if I know why they bother asking 
asking someone like like me when I why I joined the resistance, but it's simple. If it wasn't fighting for Alamigo, I'd be fighting for the Empire. We're either with them or not. If you're, you're with them, you may as well make the most of it. Food, trading, citizenship, if you live long enough. You'll die stealing someone else's land like, like it's not. But that's the choice. But me, I'd rather die here. I'm going to find these raw recruits. And turn in quests along the way. This guy up here or down there? There he is. Huh? Training? God, I was so busy practicing to impress the others that I completely forgot. Thank you. Did you have training to do? Ah, uh, a thousand pardons. So preoccupied that I was, was I... Was I by the questioner of whether Alamigo should be a monarchy or a republic that I neglected to attend my training? How silly, I know. Until we deprive the Imperials of our lands, the question is moot. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning. Teacher calls for me? I see. I were, we were discussing strategies and disabling managed tech, tech armor, you see? And, uh, uh, yes, of course, there's no time. If you will excuse me. Ah, there you are. Got those herbs I asked for? Thanks. That'll do nicely. And, uh, I'm sorry to impose upon you, sir, though. I thought you were another Kurt. Didn't realize until after you were, uh, but to answer the question that's probably on your mind, yes, it's always like this. Never enough food or supplies to go around. All the more reason to be grateful when our countrymen can spare some for the cause, though that comes at a cost, too. Too many villages, too many children more deserving than us. But a man can't fight on an empty Senate, can he? So we partake as we must. and We never lose sight of the dream. Me my watch. Hello, bees. Ah, it's fascinating as they are varied. You have a knack for convincing others to bear their hearts to you. I could not have done better myself. Many years from now, when these tempestuous times pass into memory, their accounts will serve as a window into the struggle. We must never forget, my friend, never. There he is. Oh, bugger, you were sent by by the snake, weren't you? I heard one, one in four recruits don't live through their training. This can't be right. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. All recruits are present in Katsafor. 
My thanks to you, Strider. Not all appreciate the rigor in which I train my recruits. Some favor a gentler approach, as if the Imperials would be so kind. Tis a thankless job to teach, some say, but I say this survival is thanks enough. Fare you well. Damn it all, where could it have got to? Oh, uh, pardon me, a fellow lover of freedom and justice. We haven't seen a ward of the destroyer anywhere, have you? Maybe on the ground, as if some bloody fool had dropped it. I, I been him. I had it this morning, and much as I know for certain, I've not left the reach since, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. If you got a ma moment to spare, would you be willing to help me search? I spent some time near the Temple of the Fist earlier, so it might be there. As for me, I'll look around the officer's pavilion. They're hardly they're hardly rare, I know, but I could just as easily buy another. But even so, please help me find it. I'll always help a row in need. Welcome back. You didn't miss much. This is a bunch of the, the like busy downtime MSQ quests. <laughs> Gives you time to kind of explore the reach and kind of like get used to it. There it is. Well, here's the difference between between the downtime quests in WoW versus the downtime quests in uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. Downtime quests in, or the generic quests in uh, WoW had, I need you to get 10 of these pelts. You kill them from these mobs, but each mob has a chance to drop it. Not a guarantee chance, a chance to drop one. And the likelihood that I would drop one would vary uh, the percentage chance that you'd be able to do it. I swear, I searched high and low, but it won't turn up. I believe this is it. Seven Hells, that's the one. It's my lucky ward. You're a godsend, brother. Before I was born, my mother made a pilgrimage to the Temple of the Fist, where she, like many others, received the blessing of the monks. And then Theodric came and burned it all to the ground, just a mad bastard. And after him came the Garleans, who cared even less for our beliefs. But I still keep to the old ways, so, so do many others. And when my son is born, I'll teach him the stories in the scripture as my mother taught me. All this burning down, and it's like, it's Ralgar, the destroyer. Which, by the way, um, um, that's who 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 I like because I can like punch things really hard with my fists because I'm badass. That's 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 what Eskos thinks. Alfredo has been making himself useful in the truth. And with that, another task complete. Uh, Eskos, I hear you have been keeping busy. Aye, that he has, and we thank him for it. It pleases me to inform you that our new recruits have completed their initial training and stand ready to contribute. As discussed, Monago, I would have you present my proposal to an assault on Castum, Castellum Validino to General Aldean uh, personally. Of course, sir. And you and yours planning to return to Castamorians before the operation? If so, why don't we travel together? That seems a fine suggestion, but I must consult my comrades uh, ere we depart. Very well, I will wait for you at the pass, but not too long. Uh, 
I expect Krylon, you still a little bit wish to remain here to support the the Cherugians. But nonetheless, we should go and ask them. Let me take my ether currents here. Oh, I have two. I really need to get on those. Eventually I will. The only thing is, I will tell you this, is I can only get half <laughs> half of these now. There's, then there's some other zones that I could get some of. <laughs> For reasons, story reasons. Hmm, it's not a miss. We see that would explain the sudden flurry of activity outside. The joint operation marks a turning point in our conflict with the Guardians. For the first time, the Resistance and the Alliance shall go on the offensive and attempt to capture an Imperial outpost in occupied territory. Personally, I believe it is imperative that we offer them our full support, as was the case with Ishgard. However, it is not a choice to be made lightly, nor less than on others' behalf. This is war, and every side must decide what part he or she must would play. I'll fight for Al Amigo, for my father, for Ida. I'm in it to the end. The choice has been made for us, every we were born, brother, when the Empire marched on Eosia. They will stop at nothing to subjugate or slaughter us all. Van Belzar and Van Donis were but the first to try. Though your fervor is surpri surprising, I cannot dispute your logic. At the risk of repeating myself, I am, of course, of the same mind. The present situation is unten untenable and further complicated by the existence of Ilbed's primal. I believe we have no recourse but to directly and openly intervene. I thought this was a foregone conclusion, given your actions thus far, but if you require renewed affirmation, then yes, I am still wholly committed to this cause, for it is ultimately the selfsame cause I have served since first I pledged to serve Master Louis Swartz at the in the circle of knowing, the salvation of Eorzea by any means necessary. That said, I shall refrain from taking the field on this occasion. There are many here who require further treatment, and doubtless more to come after. I came here from Memphilia, and that hasn't changed. However, I'd like to stay with Yishnoda for now and tend to the wounded. As for you, Essegos, you are to quote our dear friend Lord Edmund, the man who you slew Slew guys. Van Belsar and some half and dozen primals. Besides, your presence will well pr prove the difference between victory and defeat. Many look to you as a hero and heap great expectations upon your shoulders. But you, like every scion, must decide for yourself. Um, so I want to bring up something that another video that I ended up seeing, Asmongold. <laughs> I, I've been running into Aspen Gold videos, and I have to say, I don't like him <laughs> at all. I, 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 it, maybe it's just his style and such. But they were talking about Final Fantasy XIV, the focus that, that Final Fantasy XIV really focuses on you are the hero, you are the chosen one. You are the all-powerful of them. For some people, this, I, I'm assuming a lot of the people who play Final Fantasy XIV um, think that's really cool. That's amazing. Yes, I am the champion. Uh, I am I am the warrior of light. Um, they don't like that. They want to be 
just one of many in a community or something like that. You know, they don't want to have that focus that I am the one. I don't understand that fully because that's not the how way I feel, but I can understand that. Wow. Kind of gives you more of that feel. Yeah, sure. There's moments where it's a champion. Like you're the one who becomes grandmaster of your, uh, order in Legion. Uh, you become the commander in general in, of the, uh, forces during warlords of Draenor, but everything else is, somebody's asking for your help you're an adventurer you're going to be helping out and there's nothing special necessarily to you you're just someone there to help out they do refer to you as champion but there's champions there's a whole bunch of people you're not the only one um on this so you're not as special you're special because you're still powerful and everything but you're one of many And I suppose that people have different feelings about how that, that works, which is one of the reasons why I think WoW would be uh, story-wise and how they present how your character uh, is in, represented in that world. While here, you kind of get that reverence, like you're the chosen one, etc. And you are. You're the chosen one of Hydaelyn. Uh, the Warrior of Light. So I think that's that's one of the key aspects, and and that was one of the reasons why Asmongold was, was was like, eh, I'm not sure about this because that's not the way I want, I like to feel. That seems weird, but I can't help <laughs> do that in any of the stories that come into my head. So. All right, now to think of how S goes. As long as there's a battle to be fought, I'll be there. Yeah, he's he's the the reckless, I want to punch him in the face sort of person. Yeah, kind of pretty much. I suppose. It, it's a lot less focus on your character. I focus on everybody else. Everybody else is special. Thrall and... Thrall and Jaina and um, Bolvar and uh, Sylvanas. Well, and as well as... You know, they're the main characters of the story. You're just a champion adventurer that's going to save their asses when some, they get into trouble. <laughs> ah, ever the adventurer. You live for these moments, do you not? Take care, you still look real. And do not hesitate to contact us should you require assistance. Lise, I would ask that you remain here by Conrad's side. We should go. Or, we should go or, uh, or Monaga would leave without us. I want to persuade you to join us, Essigos. Would you wish to, to give your decision for the, for the consideration? Catstrom Orions would see that place to do, do it. You need not answer right away. I'm sure I can convince Monago to wait a while. Well, I'm going with you. Means punching people in the face? I'm there.
Jardo. I'm very upset because I won't be getting any of those donuts that you're going to buy, and now I'm hungry for donuts. I might have to like run to the convenience store in the break and get some donuts just because of that. Jeez. Well, your fault now. I'm hungry for donuts. Get your donuts. <laughs> get your donuts. I'll be here in 30. Although I'll probably be taking a break soon after you come back. We'll see. I'll be up <laughs> So you'll be accompanying us. Full glad that I'm here. Well, technically, the game has given me no choice but to accompany you. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. Oh, gee, thanks, Richardo. <laughs> uh, all set? Excellent. <laughs> Let us be off. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just picking on Richardo. So, the one thing you'll kind of notice uh, on the zone maps here... Let me show you Gurbana, Banya. So, you see, we got the cast from Orion's Aetherite Shard. Um, Aetherite. Um, Aetherite. <laughs> Nothing else. There's one over here called the Pyrrhon Stones. It's way down here in the corner. Here's the thing. If you do some exploring in this area... You'll notice that there's this big place where you just cannot get down here. There's only one place to cross. Either A, flying, or 2, by Castrum Veladina, which is right about here. I think that's right. I think it might be marked on the map. That's right here. Which is on a bridge that a Castellum, not Castrum, but Castellum, which is a fortified bridge to transport it. The only thing is, you cannot, you cannot, not, not get over into this section of the map until you deal with this. Over on the peak side, we have a similar thing. We, you can't see here, but you can kind of see it, like right here. See all this where it's like untraversable land? There, there looks like there's something here. I will tell you right now, there's an this there's a portion of the map that's up here, and there's a portion of the map up down here. They are not connected at all. At all. <laughs> this entire thing is considered one area. But there are inaccessible locations you just cannot get to. Unless you can fly. Or, like in the case of this lower section, you see here, there's a mark there that says the fringes, which means you can come in from the fringes, but you come in from the fringes down here. <laughs> But you can't get to it unless you can fly again through the cast from Villainy. <laughs> Which, when you're one who wants to get flying ASAP, it's freaking annoying. <laughs> Anyways, back to the MSQ. Back to Rob on. Welcome back, comrades. What news? Greetings, General. I've come at C Commander Kemp's behest to brief you on the latest developments at the Reach. Our recruitment efforts have exceeded expectations in addition to welcoming many motivated young Alamegans. Our ranks have been bolstered by the arrival of a number of experienced veterans, thanks in large part to the efforts of the Scions. As a consequence, we are not we are now able to field half a dozen new units, with more being trained as we speak. Good. I gather Conrad is eager to strike while the iron is hot. Just so, General, he, he proposes that we begin preparations for a joint operation to capture Castlum Veladina. 
capture Veladina, that will not be easy. It will, however, be necessary if we are able to push eastward toward the capital. There is no profit in delay. It's only a matter of time before the Guardians learn of our plans and summon reinforcements. The Alliance hereby accepts Commander Kemp's proposal. Tell him to take you no know, chances. Bring every able-bodied Alamegan who can wield a weapon. Pippin, I want Veladina watched. Assess its defenses. Every fortress has a weakness, and I would know this one's. If there is no objection, General, might the Scions join Marsh Tarapin? By all means, if that is all, let us be at it. Conrad, the general of one mind, it seems. I only wish I could say the same. I mean, while their aggressive strategy may well profit us in the end, what losses will we suffer in the meantime? Anyway, we will speak with the vice marshal with the, about his reconnaissance mission and see how he, he would like to proceed. Pippin is looking forward to the assault on Castellum Veladina. Thank you for volunteering to join me. This will be a, fa a fairly straightforward reconnaissance mission, so long as we do not have the ill fortune to run afoul of an Imperial patrol. Come, our destination is beyond East End, just north of Veladina. I have my reasonings for the route I'm going. By the way, I'm curious. What's on the other side? I can't remember when I'm offline to, to work on those data currents. Oh, I thought that was a boss fight.
thought would be close enough. Now we set it in for a long watch. That said, it would be prudent to keep your weapons at the ready in, in the event a passing patrol stumbles upon us or worse. Oh, nice long series of set cutscenes. Which means turn up the volume. There. Excellent. The disposition of the Imperial forces is exactly as expected. I will notify Father. Cannon fire! Where did it come from? Smoke! There! Is that... Oh, gods, it's Ralga's reach. It's no use. I think someone's jamming our communications. You don't think... Could this be part of a coordinated attack? Too early to draw conclusions. We must abort the assault and return to the Reach at once. Dun dun dun! No, my friend. Well, oh, more dramatic moment. This one has promise. Have a care, my lord. She's not like the others. Mm, do not disappoint me, girl, or I will kill you. Seven hells. It's him. It's Xenos. The voice right. Oh, you are a dead man! Ah! So spirited, and yet so empty.
Hold the line, Byrolga! Hold the line! Kryle! Alphano! We saw the smoke and thought we heard explosions. Are we under attack? The Imperials were all over us before we realized what was happening. No one knew where to run or what to do. It was chaos. Lisa and Master Kemp rallied the guards and bought us enough time to get some of the wounded to safety, but I haven't seen either of them since. Confound it! If we lose the Reach, this will all have been for naught! Arenvold, can you escort these people to the Wall? Aye, sir. Our place is at the Reach. We must offer such aid and succor as we are able. Saving lives is now our paramount concern. If we can hold back the Imperials until Father sends reinforcements, we may yet turn the tide. I'll join you. I've done all I can for these people, and you'll be crying out for a healer in there. I fear you're right. Come, there is no time to lose. Flames!
Thank you so long. Alpha, no, I need your help. My lord, the prisoners. See to your men, Pilus. As you command, my lord. Your friends were a disappointment. But you... You will entertain me, will you not? Something to remember.
pathetic. Shall we give chase, General? Nay. There has been enough death this day. Sit to the moment. Aye, sir! Well enough, next time I'll pay. Aye, not doubt it. Shola, hold on! Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Alphano, Master Kemp is all yours. Understood. Don't just stand there gawping. Hold her down while I work. The worst is past, but without the proper facilities, I can do no more. Master Kemp too would be better served in the infirmary. Let us take them there without delay. Give us a hand, would you, Lise? Uh, oh, of course. I know you must be exhausted, but there will be others who need our help. Leave these two to us and look to the other wounded. Turn the sound down now. Sure. Did well, I suppose. You saved lives. No matter what happens, remember that. Now then, let's do what we can for the wounded. Every minute counts. See to the wounded, I suppose. If they live, help them. Uh, if not, such and such. Alfred lies motionless, having breathed his last, clenched in his fist as a small charm. You take for safekeeping. He was already cold when I got to him. There was not I could do. That charm must have been important. You best take it to Conrad.
Vanilla Girl. Mefford. Where are you? Yes, this is. He's dead, isn't he? Mefford was a warrior, always thinking about others before himself. He once had an Imperial patrol chase him nigh on twenty moms so that his wounded would have time to escape. His comrades loved him for it, of course, though that only made him worry more. Did you know that he sent his men to Quarry Mill away because he thought they would they were fighting for him and not the cause? Aye, well he did. The only life he was willing to risk was his own, you see. And that's exactly the kind of man who should be a leader. The kind of man who deserves to survive. Not a, an old fool, all used up. There's no logic to it, Master Kemp. There never is. Who stands, who falls, in the heat of the battle, you must do. We can do, but do our best, as he did. Mefred was will be sorely missed, I, but because of his sacrifice, many now live who otherwise would not, and they need us, need us now more than ever. Aye, aye, that they do. Forgive me, I had high hopes for him. That's all. Hey, honey. Robert's reach is no longer safe. While defeat was no near thing, it was total a humiliation. We were powerless to withstand an enemy's assault, but we cannot afford to dwell on our failure. As Alphano said, it is those who survived we must think of now. Roger's reach is no longer safe. Imperials may have withdrawn, but they could return at any time to finish what they began. We dare not remain here. Those who are not fit to make the journey to Castrum Orions will need to be taken by Chocobo carriage. Agreed? Good. I shall oversee preparations for the carriages. In the meantime, I would have you scour the infirmary for any supplies that might prove useful during the journey. Forgive me, but it's... It is imperative that I continue preparing medicines for the wounded. If you desire treatment, I must ask that you seek it elsewhere. Oh, I see. In that case, you are free to search the barber and take that which you require. I would not have our people die in any route. I would assist you, but this, this process demands my undivided attention. Oh, Master Tarpin said you might have something for me. Well, be praised. This should, this should put the driver's heart at ease. Tell the Vice Marshal we await his orders. The stroller and the others are safely strapped in. Don't worry, I'll be by our side the entire time. Thank you, Cryo. I'll walk alongside. They'll need protection in case the Guardians try anything. Hang on. You're injured too, aren't you? Shouldn't you be in one of the carriages? I'm not so frail that I can't make the trip on my own. Besides, there's still work to be done here. I'll see you at the wall when I'm finished. As you wish. Then let us set forth at once. We shall move as quickly as our comrades' health allows. To Castle... Cast Castrum Oriens.
You saved many, a good many of my men, and I cannot thank you enough for that. But the fact remains, our forces are decimated. At this state, we will not be mounting an assault on Castellan and Valadina or anywhere else. We need to be honest with ourselves and about our prospects, but first we need to put our efforts here in order. Afterwards, I'll join you all at Castor Morians. Understood. We will go and speak with General Aldine. Oh, where where is Raban? He's still in the He's still in the reach. Pippin has already departed with the wounded, has he? Good. We have uh, completed our search of the Reach in the surrounding area. As far as we could tell, Zeno's men uh, returned straight away to to Specula Imperatus after quitting this place. It would seem he's lost interest in us. Brings us to the most troubling question of all. All, not how he found us, but why he chose to spare our lives, having done so. In war, you kill or capture your enemy. You don't leave him to fight another day. Only a fool would turn his back and walk away. The Zenos is no fool. Whatever is my bit, this is ni neither the time nor the place to, to think on it. I will leave a token force to watch over the Reach. The rest will fall back to Castamorians. We will discuss our path forward there. Now, Castamorians. But teleport money <laughs> for nothing. Oh, for something. Kryle is with Yishtilda. She still hasn't woken up, but Kryle says she's through the worst. Given the severity of her wound, we would be a hope for no more. Let us pray she makes a full recovery. We lost a lot of good people, didn't we? I saw it happen, when the Skull's commander cut down Mefford. A single blow, and that was it. Everything he fought for, all of his hopes and dreams for the future, gone in an instant. And do you want to know the worst part? It wasn't a Gallian who did it. It was an Alamegan. God help me if I ever... No, not now. Not even the, not while the general's waiting. Oh, Lise. Were it not for the swift actions of the Scions and the Alliance, many more would have died. You risked your lives to save ours, and for that we thank you. There is no need for thanks. We are allies, are we not? Aye, just so. Let us not dwell on this tragedy, but look to the future. The future? I'm sorry, General, but there is no future for us. We've lost too many. Gods, I can still see Mefrid with that woman standing over him. They've ripped the heart out of us, General. They've broken us. Our fight is over. Master Kemp, please. I'll always hate them with every fiber of my being. For what they took from us then and now. Our homeland, our freedom, our bloody children. You mean the Skulls? The youths who fight for Xenos? Grania Lupi. The Black Wolf's legacy and our shame. A unit made up of children born to Alamegan dignitaries who came of age during the occupation. 
sons and daughters of Gia Abania, raised to be proud citizens of the Empire, with all the rights and responsibilities that entails. It'd be easy to curse them and call them traitors, but they're our children, our flesh and blood. If the only way to forge the future we want is to cut down our own, then... Then what was it all for? Nargo? What will you say to the families of the Fallen? To the mothers, and the widows, and the orphans? Will you tell them it was all for nothing? Listen to the girl. We dare not suffer our comrades' sacrifices to have been in vain. Now is the time to steal our resolve and press on, painful though it may be. And when Xenos comes back with his army, what then? This isn't the first time, you know. You'll be hard-pressed to find men brave or stupid enough to face him again. I still can't believe how strong he was. He humiliated us back there, the Warrior of Light included. God well, help he's... us if he's next in line to the Garlean throne. He's level 70, and I am only six, was only the sink to level 62. I might have had a better chance if they had kept me at my level 65. I mean, Jesus. It was a level disparity. That's all it was. Don't worry. Let me just grind up a few more levels. It will be fine. Loath though I am to say it, we should not be surprised. Before succeeding Van Balesar in Alamigo, Xenos led the Imperial Army to Doma, where he crushed the rebellion utterly. As a matter of fact, Doma remains in his charge to this day. Suffice it to say, Varus's heir is a peerless warrior and an accomplished general. The question is, how are we to contend with such a foe? Okay. Essigos, the reckless, I want to punch everybody in the face sort of thing, is definitely going to say we fight and we fight and we keep on fighting until we win. Because Essigos isn't necessarily smart. We take the fight to Doma, too smart. I have a feeling you're about to tell us, too smart. Essigos, I wouldn't necessarily say is an idiot, but he's not bright. He'd, he wants to punch people in the face. And after the thrashing that he just got from Zeno, he's utterly, Zeno's, he's utterly pissed off. We fight and we fight and we keep on fighting until we win. That's how it works. Boom, boom, boom. Come now, even you have your limits. But then, so too must he. One legatus ruling two provinces a world apart. Yes, divide and conquer. We kindle the flames of revolution in Doma once more, thereby forcing Xenos to fight a war on two fronts. For that, there would need to be someone left to fight on this front by the time you got back. Look, I'll not deny the plan as promise. And I feel for our brothers and sisters in Doma, truly I do. But I fear we lack the strength to see it through. Have faith in your people, Master Kemp. Them and the Scions. Hold fast, rebuild, and when all is in place, we shall defeat Xenos together. If you're going to Doma, I'm coming too. I want to help our friends there, and make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Give us the time we need, and we will give you something far greater. Very well. For all you have done for us, we will fight on. But be swift, comrades. Al amigo has suffered enough. It goes without saying, but the science alone have not the strength to topple a pro provincial government, here or anywhere else, and I'm quite certain the same has been said of the Dublin Liberation Front. Nonetheless, we can but go and assess the situation for ourselves and see what can be done. Unless you doubt what good we, we few can accomplish, I would remind you that my grandfather and his twelve disciples once journeyed to these lands to save Eorzea and her people with 
certain doom. I'm certain doom. Brave souls with an impossible task, and Eosia lives on. Our present mission may not be as monumental in scope, but it is no less important to the multitudes who move free from Imperial opposition, whom we will free. All right. I'm going to decline this quest. So, I misspoke. It's from Reach to Crap to Castrum. The sea will be next because obviously we're heading to Doma. So, that will be part two. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to cut this uh, so that we have some time. I'm going to actually get something to eat. I'll be back in about maybe a half an hour so i will see you then bye